we know that anemia is fairly frequent in patients with acute myocardial infarction and impacts prognosis. And there's uncertainty as to which is the preferred transfusion strategy in these patients. So we designed an academic, publicly funded, joint French and Spanish randomized trial called REALITY, comparing two transfusion strategies in these patients. One arm is a restrictive transfusion strategy in which transfusion is withheld unless hemoglobin drops to 8 grams or fewer. The liberal transfusion strategy arms gives transfusion as soon as hemoglobin drops to 10 grams or less. We enrolled 668 patients in this randomized trial, and the findings are as follow. First, approximately 35% of the patients in the restrictive arm received a transfusion, whereas this was 86% in the liberal arm. And that corresponds to a substantial saving of units of blood, 414 fewer units of blood in the restrictive arm. Second, the MACE rates were 11% in the restrictive arm and 14% in the liberal arm. The relative risk at 30 days is 0.79. The upper boundary one-sided 97.5% uh, confidence interval is 1.18, well below the pre-specified non-inferiority margin of 1.25 we had set. And therefore, we verified the main hypothesis of the trial, which was that the restrictive strategy would be clinically non-inferior to the liberal transfusion strategy. In terms of secondary outcomes, there was no significant difference, although they consistently trended in favor of the restrictive strategy. Lengths of stay and costs were no different. Safety was actually superior in the uh, restrictive arm with fewer infections and fewer acute lung injuries, statistically significantly so. Finally, from the cost effectiveness standpoint, which was the second part of our, of our trial hypothesis, we hypothesized the trial would show non-inferiority clinically and less cost for the restrictive arm. We actually found that the restrictive strategy was dominant, i.e. it saved money and it was more effective in 84% of the simulations of cost effectiveness we did. All in all, all of these findings provide strong support for preferring a restrictive transfusion strategy arm. Clinically non-inferior, saves a lot of blood, safer, and actually cost-effective, in, in fact, dominant from a cost-effectiveness standpoint.